getting them to think of things that they could add to a story. And I said, use your imagination, just pretend. And I said, we've never done that before. And these are kids that are seven, eight, nine years old, never pretending before. But by the time we finished that segment of the workshop, they were starting to get it. And they would they would say things and then they'd be very afraid that it was wrong. And I'd I'd say, it's not wrong. You know, just add it to the story. I'm responsible for looking after children that come to our hospital for psychiatric problems. Many of those problems entail kids that have behavioral problems, uh, problems following instructions, kids that uh, have suffered from mental and emotional traumas, such as uh, physical abuse, sexual abuse, uh, kids that suffer from post-traumatic stress syndrome. They do a very good job of helping the kids express themselves through games. Many of the games we've even tried to incorporate into some of our own groups. And that's really the core issue with all our children as far as having them express their, their feelings. And getting kids to express their feelings can be very difficult. I think of all of the um, activities that are available to the kids throughout the week, they look forward to this more than any. And each person that is involved with uh, the Hip Pocket Theater is so highly qualified and enthusiastic and it's very apparent that these people love what they're doing and this hospital greatly benefits from their uh, personalities and their uh, professionalism. We bring the kids up to work with us and be parts of the story as we go and there again we reinforcing the the ability to stand up and be in front of people and to see what it's like to be in theater. We've shown them a whole new aspect of life. And then they're also being the audience and they're getting to see it. Um, and, and again, it's teaching them the story building process. And, and got together and held a puppet tie. And they took a bow.